Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a big haul. Not everything from this box will be hauled um, in this video because there's some Erin Condren stuff I want to review separately. So we will take that out, but I wanted to show you the full unboxing. So before we go ahead, and everything will be timestamped and linked down below, just want to say where I've been. I haven't been prioritizing filming um, while I finish up my PhD thesis. So if you want any updates from me, please go and add my Instagram, Kindish Girl Plans. It's listed down below in the description. So that's why we're keeping up with everything, um, including anything about Black Lives Matters. That it, oh, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Black Live Matters. So, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but I'll be sharing a lot over there, and we're going to be changing up some art stuff, introducing some new things, which I haven't really talked about yet, but I'm really excited about that, to have more inclusivity and diversity in my art and make it more accessible. So, but for that, for now, we're going to open up this box from my US. So this is who I use to ship my US stuff. Um, I've used them for years and years and years. And I do have a video on my, somewhere on my video channel. If you look up US address to search for it, you'll find the video um, detailing how I use my US to ship uh, American stickers and shops. Um, basically, I can ship it to their warehouse in Florida, and then they ship, put everything in a box um, once a month and send it to me. So that's what we're going to open today. Usually I pre-open these and I organize everything before we haul. But I'm going to show you from right off the bat what it's like to open one of these packages. So this is really cool in the front. It says my package is professionally hand-picked, packed for you by someone on Tom's team. And obviously that's Tom. So thank you whoever did that on Tom's team. <laughs> um, so we're going to open up this box and I'm just going to Fast forward a bit because this could get messy, and I apologize if the camera bounces. Here's a bit of a Scribble Prince Co. order. So we have a whole lot of paper here to fill in the box, which is nice. I will say, like, this is nice for the environment, but the next layer that you see will not be so nice. Yeah. So, let's get some of these out, and I'm going to put anything I don't want to hold to the side. And we got an empty box and a kitty. <laughs> Heidi does love herself a box. So, okay, while well, we let Heidi sit there, basically, what they do is when an order comes in, they open it up to check the contents or the invoice. Sorry, I'm just scratching the box. Um, <laughs> and then when they put when a, they put it into your suite, which is probably just like a big box. With your number on it, um, they put it, the whole thing in a plastic bag with this barcode. And basically, you want to keep these barcodes and bags when you open them because if you have issues, then they, you basically send them a photo of this and they can look back through who unpacked it, etc. etc. There you go. We got a little trapped kitty. <laughs> but yeah, so they just do that so you get all the items that don't just fall randomly out of your box. Um, everything's kept together and then they can keep track uh, if there are issues. Yes, now we have a little hiding in our box. Hello. Hello. But I'm sorry, we're going to have to put the box down now. So, say goodbye, goodbye to Heidi. Heidi. Oh, I didn't really see it. But yes, we're going to put Heidi down now. <laughs> So now I have all these items here. Um, so I know what this is. And then this is obviously probably the six year bundle. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So now I'm going to start. 
sorry for getting Heidi like going through some boxes but now I'm going to just speed through me cutting open these and then yeah that's how I open the box and I go through it and then we're going to I'm going to skip forward and actually just do the normal haul but I wanted to show you guys what it's all about so I just cut these open Um, and you get the envelope. Oh, look how cute that packaging is. I never include it. Um, but yeah, I love it. So pretty from Scrooge and Scrooge. Yes, it's got all the pieces in here. So, yeah. So I'm going to do that for all of them. Organize everything as per usual. And we'll be back in a second. We're also going to haul some stuff that came into my finish address. So, yes. Be back in a split the second. The item I wanted to show was from Fox and Cactus, and I bought these adorable spicy sausage earrings. See, they I love the glittery um, stud section, but look at them. <laughs> They're so chubby. You can see the earring back there. They're just, uh, they're so cute. Fox and Cactus has been doing some um, cutting out acrylic and then sort of hand painting them and everything, and they just... I just couldn't help myself. I needed the fat spicy sausages. So let's look at the stickers she included. I think it's just a freebie. So this was mailed out. Oh, I love this um, card. Don't cross me. Animal Crossing. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> I love you too, Emma. Um, I just love the spicy sausage idea. Sorry if there's a wiggle. Okay, uh, but yeah, so... I actually bought this in March. It took quite a while to get to me. Um, but you know, that was like, it was sent just before all this stuff happened, like the really big COVID shutdowns. So it took a while to get me, but I finally got it. Um, and I love the little freebie as well. It's really cute. <laughs> I think this one's sort of Animal Crossing. -y. That's what it feels like to me. Cause it's got a little fruit and a campfire. But yeah. Adorable. Love her earrings and she's got brooches and all sorts. So definitely check out for these items from Fox and Cactus. <laughs> They're too cute. Then I have an order here from Once More with Love. Um, I'm st oh. oh no, my address is covered up. <laughs> That's okay. I I'm still waiting for a second one. Canadian mail has been taking quite a long time to get here. So I think I actually bought this one second. So I don't know. I'm going to give it a little bit more to see if it'll come in, but um, this is just a little Animal Crossing kind of one that I've got. So it just has a little thank you here on the back of a really cute card. Aww, really adorable. Um, and I got also her occupations, which obviously I don't do all these occupations, but I thought they'd be useful for other kind of stickers and users. So we got the April freebie here. Um, I think it was an early April set that I am wait waiting on, but we'll see if it gets here. Um, it's just some cute things like buying groceries online, get your poop done, cleaning up, listen some bed, you know. Um, how are you feeling? So, you know, asking people how they are. Then you got the little stay at home freebie, which is really adorable. <laughs> Can't wait to go out. Uh, we, we can go out, but I'm not really into that just yet. <laughs> so these are little occupation mini sheets that I picked up. I got lawyer because you never know when you need a lawyer one. Or I could mark crazy ex-girlfriend with it because she's a lawyer in the show. So plenty of uses for that. Um, plumber, because you know, plumber, handyman, that kind of thing. Um, a vet, because you know, I'm going to take, uh, i got a cat, so a cat to the vet if need be. Um, i got a nurse, pretty, you know, explanatory there if I need to see a nurse. Um, handyman construction, and i got, how many, I did I get five sheets of farmers because in July, one of my favorite game series, they're bringing out um, a remaster of an old one on the Switch, Story of Seasons. Um, and they're, they're bringing out, so they used to be called Harvest Moon, uh, but there was a whole thing about it if you want to look up. Basically, they can't use their, the English name anymore because they change publishers. 
So they're called Story of Seasons now if you wondered about Harvest Moon. Any new Harvest Moon games are not Harvest Moon. <laughs> and they're usually pretty crappy and just, you know, try to make money off of the well-known name. Story of Seasons is what you want to look out for. And there's a game coming out in July and it is the remake of the most popular Game Boy Advanced um, Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons. So you know I'm going to be playing that a lot because I didn't have a Game Boy. Um, I did have PlayStation 1 so I played Back to Nature a ton and a 3DS. Uh, that's where all the other games are at the moment but yeah, it's come to Switch. I'm going to play so much farming and so I had to buy all the farming sheets because that's what I'm going to use it for. I also bought her two Animal Crossing sheets. We've got a bucket list here. I thought I could use it otherwise. Um, just randomly, not actually like... I, wrote, I unlocked Able Sisters a long time ago. But all those are cute. And just the little icons, just for something simple, which I thought were really cute. So that was my little order from Once More With Love. Fingers crossed my other one gets in because it has like the Zoom meeting and stuff like that in it. I get a little order here from Papershire. This took a little bit while to get to me as well, even though it's from England, but I think even in Europe, like all the lines are open, but it's taking a while. You're just gonna be patient with mail at the moment. But look how adorable the journaling card is. Ugh. Love it. I love Zenny's artwork. It's so, so cute and pretty. And she's actually been making her stickers smaller, which uh, I'm happy not... I don't want to cut them down because they're so beautiful and cute. So let's go through these. She always has generous freebies. So she does have a Facebook exclusive freebie. Um, so just join her Facebook group to get the, like... I think it's just something to put in the notes for that. But she included both the January and the May one. So I assume she had some leftovers of January and she just gave me one. So that's really, really nice. Thank you. But I love, I do love the May exclusive, like the cats on the chair. Oh my God. And the calico is Heidi. <laughs> I love it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Such a cute free I love the fold over boxes. Really cute. Oh. Oh my god, I realize Heidi's bitten into this. She's bitten into this package. <laughs> wow, Heidi. Rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love these. Oh, and the vanilla is so cute. Oh. And so we got the January one, which we have a bunch of vanillas here in a big bunny family. And just really good, like, New Year's ones. Passport. Maybe when I finally get my passport. For my dad, that would be great. I love the salad one. Oh, that's cute. Those are really adorable. And a little mailing one, a little stamp. And look at this huge double box. Oh, beautiful. Um, and then all orders freebie at this time was a bunch of her new flat lays. Oh, they're just so beautiful. I love how like minimalist and clean this fashion one is. You sort of got the like, your planner here with stickers, cake. Gorgeous, love it. Then we have the 15 pound orders and these are like little half boxes that you can write in and I think I'm definitely going to be starting to use these um, in my new Erin Condren order which you'll see the whole next um, I'll probably put up pretty soon next week um, just going through the daily that I got so I think these would be perfect in there so with the stickers that I picked up, I got the earphones because I personally love my AirPods, as I said, the last haul. But I really love these and they're like non-foil version and they're just really, really cute to mark listening to music or charging them, whatever. Picked up the museum one because I do love museums and art galleries. I thought this could also be used for Animal Crossing as well. But yeah, I love this one as well. Um, just the variety as well. It's very uh, British Museum, v &A. Then we have uh, vanilla walking, so just going for a walk in the, um, like in, in the fat, in the um, fashion, <laughs> in nature. Then we have vanilla sick, and I just thought this was so cute. I love the hacking, gagging one. Like, eh, eh. It's so gross. But these are really adorable. Just, you know, uh, I needed more sick and sleeping stickers 
because I didn't have a big variety of them. So Vanilla Sleeping, adorable, and I love how like there's this little curve in the mouth which is sort of like drooling and anime kind of drawings. <laughs> so yeah, go love when you drool when you sleep. Then we got Relax number two. So here we got drinking some tea, um, doing a face mask, reading while drinking tea, just snuggled up on a chair drinking tea. And I think this is like steaming a face aromatherapy kind of thing. Just so that was really cute. I just love the chair ones. Then we got podcasts, which I thought would be great to mark um, uh, recording voiceovers for my videos when I do when I get back to them. So these are a really cute version. I got printing. Should do a lot of printing. Um, so yeah, I needed. I have one printing sticker, I think. So I needed these. We got a long distance love, but I thought these would be great to mark, like um, chat, like calling my dad or my mom or my friends, um, because I love them too. So it doesn't have to be relationship love. So I thought that'd be really cute, because I'm not really long distance with my partner anymore. <laughs> They're in the next room. Um, then got vanilla laundry. Just thought it was a really cute version of laundry. Got happy mail, which is definitely me today. <laughs> And we got buying groceries because you can always use more of those and we don't use grocery carts, we use baskets and bags because you know we don't have a car so we're not doing cart full. So this would be perfect for that. So that is my paper shire order and I love everything. They're so cute. I have an I have um well it's not an order but a Maggie of Caress Press sent me her new inserts for the A5 wide of the Oristel Cloud. I'm super excited to try these out and have a look at them for you guys. Um, she did a dated and undated, but I requested a dated one. I think that's everything that is in that package. Yeah, so she sent me the inserts to try out and to show you guys. So they come packaged in nice hard cardboard so they remain safe in the mail and yeah so I picked up um, the dated ones and they go from July to June next year so it's an academic year and these are vertical with monthlies and tabs you also get this gorgeous vellum it's a really nice thick vellum with a gold bow foil foil gold foil bow and it's very lacy and pretty and it's all um, it's all done for you so you just whack it straight into your planner um, and the paper is actually really nice it's good and wide and it's got a good thickness to it and it's fairly smooth which I like that so first you get the um, year at a glance so this is the full of 2020 from January and on the back you have the full 2021 to December and I love the fonts she chose. I think it's very Times New Roman, which I love Times New Roman. That's what my thesis is in. I think I got some um, from shipping. That is some mark here. But that's okay. So we have the pages which begin. So it's slightly thicker than the normal page. Kind of like the Erin Condren where this tab page is a bit thicker. And she does have the tab pages um, laminated. I really like the white and black actually um, with this font. It looks really clean. I like that. I like how it has like the July and pretty text at the bottom. Sorry if this goes in and out of focus. It's very white. So I'll show you. I think it's just the July one which is a bit messy. This one has a bit of a line through it if you can see. I don't know if you guys see this on here. See a line. Oh, autofocus being on butt today. You can see a line here. Um, so, yeah, this is her first run at things. So, not everything is going to be a hundred percent perfect. I mean, the aesthetic is. I love it. So, is it just July and August? Um, just checking. It's like the Erin Condren's where you got to go through the whole planet. Just to double check, I'm not too fussed about these tab pages. 
Um, I think this is actually a perfect design to like print off and stick down like your own art or put any stickers there that you like. Or you could put pictures um, to memory keep the month. Perfect design like right here to have all room for whatever you want to add. So it looks like it's just July and August have issues there. So first we have the monthly which does fit Erin Contra and monthly um, stickers. And you can get the undated which this is undated too. No date, no months here and undated weeklies. Um, but I want a dated. <laughs> I kind of miss having a dated planner like in terms of doing my sticker planning so that's why I opted for that one and I loved the fonts so you get the Sunday start um, and these are just like gray dots which is pretty um, you know usual shouldn't have to do too much whiting out honestly to put stickers in so pretty standard monthly will fit your kits um, and then we have the weekly. So let me have a look at these. I haven't looked at these yet. Up close. There's a couple of little black dots, but you have to really look close to see them. And they'll probably get covered up in stickers anyway. Especially if you use bougie boxes, you won't notice them. I should say they also have a notes page. Oh, sorry. This is really not liking. I'm going to set to manual and get into focus. And then, all right. So that's just up. Go to manual. Um, so there's a little bit of black dotting here and there. But overall, I probably am not going to be bothered by it because you put a bougie box over the top or a sticker and it's fine. <laughs> um, so what it is, is it's a perfect size of the Erin Condren columns. There is no lines, it's just a straight up column. So I would start from the beginning or the top and just put like the glitter header down and then keep going. So you can line up the glitter header with this top or a box with the bottom. and. Uh, even in the RSL, it doesn't have the lines and the columns either. So when it comes with the other, if I'm not bougie boxing, I'm just white space planning. I just eyeball the, uh, the edits these days, honestly. You could use a ruler to line them up, but I just, I just eyeball them. And I haven't found too many issues there. So these are all dotted lines. Um, and you have some lines at the bottom. And we have this little box in the sidebar. It's like not the same length as the full box, but I think, I assume this is 1.5 as well width. And that goes all the way down, and I really love this font. I, it's similar to Times New Roman, which I really, really, really love. Um, but I think it's gorgeous, especially with the slightly thicker black lines, and I love this as well. Oh, I actually really like this. I really like this, you guys. It's really nice. It feels smooth, but papery. You can see another black dot here. Um, you might not be able to see it on camera. Maybe you can. But you go the whole year up until June. Do you have the whole of June? You have the whole of June. So here's the first of July next year. And then you have the notes at the back and so then you can go and she releases the next year. You can just put that straight in or you can separate these so it's very much like the Erin Condren. Um, but yeah, so I actually really like these. So I love that. She might still have some. I don't think she had a limited amount because it was her first time manufacturing them. Um, but I'll have a good look if you're interested and you're getting an RSL or you have one. So she asked me if I wanted any of her tabs. So these are extra thick, glossy, um, like tab stickers. So they should be pretty, like, uh, durable. Let me put this back on auto so we can go in. Um, they should be pretty durable. So you can get a pink, um, a white and a black and different foils and I asked for black and gold. I thought I might keep the white for a while but I thought the black and gold would be really pretty in my lilac. Um, I'm getting the lilac cloud with gold hardware 
But now I'm thinking maybe pink with gold. Because she has like a really nice pink shade. We'll see. Because I was kind of like gonna like pastel goth it up in my lilac. But we'll see. So that's a gold one. It's really, really nice. And then she also had these, um, you've probably seen in Andrea's hauls. But these are um, like the hole reinforces. So you can buy these normally like uh, in office shops and they're usually like little white round stickers that you pull around these, you just stick it onto this hole, sorry. Um, and it just supports it from getting too jagged. So these are just like little clear stickers with foil. To put them around there so you can complement your kits as well, your spreads. Oh, they're really pretty. So we've got a gold, you got like a glimmery um, confetti, Get a confetti, you've got a little bow with really simple bow. You have like little diamonds and sort of starry glittery and they're just full on foil. So you got the gold, you have sparkly hollow, you have rose gold which is the same as um, Scribble Prince Co, which I really like, that they can go together really. Um, go silver and hollow. So those are really really cool. I love those. Um, and I can't wait to add them to all my spreads. So that was from Caress Press. Next is a new shop to me. It's called Less Than a Misfit and they are on Etsy and they will be linked below. So this is my first order to her and I kind of went a bit nuts. But look at this, doesn't this scream at me? I mean, she put my name on it, so adorable. <laughs> um, but it's like pastely goth and I just, uh, I love it. And look at this pearlescent little note so cute i i want to put this like in my planner but um she just has this little note here and she hand writes her name there i think her name is faye but yeah here's her information listen misfit on etsy and um instagram so love it but look at this packaging it's like a little envelope and it's like so manly. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I haven't looked in here at all. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are a bunch of character stickers and she also has die cuts and all sorts. Oh yes, 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 yes. The little black kitties. You know I'm in for this. <laughs> um, so I think this is the freebie, which is really, really cute. You have sort of, um, you get like a little nap like from time to time little bat liner that's so cute. And I love the daisy look, it looks very 90s. That's the April freebie, really cute. I picked up some die cuts and then, oh, look at this, like, it's like in a glassing bag, which is great because I'm all about glassing instead of cello. And it's like all packaged, what the heck? I love this, so let's look at these die cuts. Again, they're gonna go into my lilac or still, I'm so excited. Let's get on in there. Okay, so I think this is the freebie die cut for the month because it goes with the freebie. And it's like a little skull planter with a succulent. <laughs> and then I got these two, one is pearlescent and one is normal and they're just like cardboard. But they're like little um, bobas, but with little skulls and moons and stars. And a little coffin cup. So cute. So I picked that up. I think the pearlescent and the normal they come together as a set. So you can have like whichever one. So that's awesome to get. Look at this stack. You guys, I went a bit crazy, but can you blame me? They're adorable. So first of all, here we've got um, this is the rubbish one. So she's holding like the little garbage bag and it's broken and she clearly has like garbage juice on her foot and so she's a little excise and she's like nah god I hate garbage juice and then here is it at the actual like um, garbage bin and she's happy so cute oh. and these are on a premium mat they are buttery the cuts are really good yes love that um, and so I have two of these I have two. Hmm. I'm gonna have a look at my order, but I don't think I ordered two of these. I got two. <laughs> then we have um, a little reading, reading little books. So one set has like a pink and skull, and the other is just a plain book. So cute. 
You should close up. Look how adorable that little cat is. I love it. It's like my um my cat who did she pass away last year or the year before? But she was called Jemima. Um, named after Jemima Puddle Duck. So she was Jemima Puddle Cat. She was a big black cat. Oh, beautiful. Um, good little coffee frappes. Look, I just want to show them all like close up. They're so cute. But you can see a whole page, so I'm zoomed in all the way. Oh, so I'll hold them up here because why not? We got little switches. So we got her playing the switch as well as little switches, and they're really good size. Um, yeah, I like those. And pink and purple goes with a lot of stuff. We have like watching a movie. I watch a lot of stuff on my laptop. We have like, so it's, instead of being just on a laptop, she has a little popcorn. I love that. Then we have yay and nopes. <laughs> so cute. Little cat butt. Then we have me to, then we got Heidi today in this haul. <laughs> Sitting in the box. Perfect. These are a little bit bigger, but they're really cute. Another bigger one. We have laundry, so it's in the laundry basket with a little detergent. And also she looks a bit unsure about having to do all that laundry. <laughs> then we have more of an iced latte versus a frappe. Ugh, I love it. It's a little bat symbol. And I love the black band on it. Ugh. It shows. Ah, I love it. This one has two sizes. It's a little celebration balloons girl. Then we have um, sort of like happy mail and then opening the happy mail with the stickers. Love that. <laughs> then I thought this would be perfect for my daily planner and just like a to cover the to do list. Shit to do. <laughs> just thought it was really cute. Something different that I don't usually buy. Then we have baking with the KitchenAid. Then we have going to a rock show, going to a metal show. That's pretty awesome. A lot goes to a lot more than I do. Obviously not right now, but I thought it'd be good to mark those. Cause you know, I live in Finland. There's a pretty big rock metal scene. Um, we got drawing on the, um, on the iPad. You know, I bought two of those. So adorable. I don't think I picked up two garbage ones. So I'm gonna have to check which double I meant to have or if she just accidentally put in an extra, but I did mean to get two of the Procreate uh, iPad ones. Oh, they're so cute. And then we have a little gamer, angry gamer. <laughs> and then finally printing, cause you know, I needed printer stickers. So yeah, oh my God, I love these. I didn't know that they were um, premium matte, but they are lovely. And I feel like they will go with a lot of spreads that I like to do. Oh my god. Anything with pink or purple and the gray goes with everything. Oh, I love it. I love these. So I'm going to have to get more. <laughs> yeah, so that is Lesson Misfit. Um, despite all of this, and I assume she isn't ready to ship. I'm not sure. It didn't take very long, even during this time. Yeah. So I highly recommend, if you're into this kind of style like I am, check out Lesson Misfit because these are adorable. I love it. I got another big order here and this is um, a $2 Tuesday from Crafts by Towie. So she has been having these foil $2 Tuesdays. So I think these might have been all jumbled up by my US. Um, uh, and then she's been doing volumes, so each week has like a different set of them. But then she did a week where she brought back all of them. So you could choose to have any of them. Yes, I think I checked the invoice just under oh, no, there. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly organize these, but yeah, I went through all of the volumes, picked all the ones out that I wanted, and got a whole bunch in one go. But here's a journaling card that came with it, set goals, and crush them. Think plan do. So it's crossed by Towie. But yeah, let me just organize them so we can just go straight through them. I'll be right back. Okay, I think they're all um, put together. So basically every sheet 
And she only has silver, gold, and rose gold, so I just picked up silver and gold. Because I'm not really interested in rose gold unless it's Caress Press and Scribble Prince Clear Rose Gold. Yeah, that's just the way I am. Um, but these are all on premium and matte as well. All beautifully foiled little icons, and I just thought they were simple and could be brought into any um, spread. And I've been really liking these simple icons um, at the moment, rather than like character stickers. So I picked up a bunch. So let's go through them. I got these sticker sheets and silver and gold. Everything will be in silver and gold. But yeah, those are really cute with the bows and the hearts. Then I picked up these really cool uh, filming plan with me, so the, it's on the tripod. Because I don't use a tripod anymore, but I thought these are really cute. And Gathered Plans uses this one a lot, which I really like. So I picked up two of each. You can tell I've just been like, I want to be like Gathered Plans. <laughs> so I just bought all the stickers that she has. Uh, I loved this burger um, meal. Look how cool that is. I think. Taui draws all these herself, um, but they're really, really cute uh, illustrations. They would go really well with the planning world ones, I think. But yeah, picked up those. Picked up the pots um, and fry pan cooking. Just thought they were really cute and simple for cooking. Then at these adorable pens, which are obviously like, they look like filler beautiful pens, which are my fave. So, oh, gorgeous. What would I use these for? I could use them for drawing, just because it's a tool. Or I could use it for planning, organizing, just being adorable. Then I picked up the pill um, bottles. I just thought these were really nice and simple. Um, and then I got the plants ones, which I think, because I don't have plants, um, I thought I could use these for like Animal Crossing or farming games or whatever. They picked up the printers because, of course, at the time when I was buying all these stickers, I'm like, I need printers. <laughs> so, we have printers there. Simple, simple. Your little cameras, which could also be used for filming. So, those are cute. I got two of each of those because they could be filming. Then, I picked up the podcast ones again for um, recording voiceovers. Sometimes I listen to a podcast, but. I find it really hard. I have to do it while drawing, so I'm more likely to mark drawing versus listening to the podcast. Because I need to be doing something when I listen to that kind of thing. Um, then I picked up, look how adorable these cloud platters are. Beautiful little bow pen. I love that. And I've only got the Once More Love cloud stickers, so it's great to have a different kind of cloud sticker. So I got two of those each. Um, and then I got one of her, like, cocktail, her drinks. Just thought, you know, something different. Everything is usually, like, beer or wine, and I drink, I like to drink cider or gin, so that fits that more perfectly. So that is my big order from Crossway Tally. She has a really awesome Teal Tuesdays. Hopefully she brings back all the volumes again in the future, because it was great to go through all of them to find the ones that I wanted. Um, and make a big order at once. So, yeah, that's Carl's Bow Tower. And then I have an order here from Sticky Essentials and just a little note from um, Delilah. She's reformatting the draw scripts, so she included some extras. Oh, thank you, Delilah. Hope you're staying safe as well. So she actually has been including the little alcohol swabs in her, um, orders which is really cute. So I picked up a kit, Summer Moon, you'll see actually I've, this is the first one and then I also bought it from um, <laughs> Scribble Prince Go. I have a problem okay. I will use both but yes I bought one from her as well. Um, oh she put in, whoops, she put in um, a percentage off because it did take a bit longer. I think she ran out of the premium matte um, paper that she uses, so the order took a bit longer, but that's fine with me. I was willing to wait. So I picked up, um, I picked up the Animal Crossing black script, really cute, and her little um, 
money bags to Animal Crossing little bell bags. And then I previously bought some drawer ones, but she threw in some rose gold and silver, obviously because she's changing them up, so thank you. I think I'm actually really low on the silver ones, so happy to have those. And yeah, so here's the full Summer Moon kit. And I picked up the 15 millimeter. Because this is on like um, the old kind of caress press kind of paper. It's just a really pretty um, premium matte, really buttery. A um, little bit of, it has a bit of dust, but you know. So I loved this art from Darcy. I just love the gothy thing. And oh, how perfect with all of these little goth kitties from Less Than Misfit go with the skin. <laughs> I love um, the interview with the vampire. And probably Prisoner of Azkaban is probably the best Harry Potter. So, yes, I love that. So cute, just like a gothic um, summer. <laughs> Which is very much me. I'm more of a stay inside and keep pale. <laughs> so, we've got some work labels here. Payday, pay paid up. We got some nice um, pattern square boxes, icons, and she has formatted everything. This is completely different now, so she's done a format, reformat since this, but still really nice to see her stickers here. I love the movie marquee. Super nice. Plenty of fa fancy labels, which I'm into. Got the glitter headers that are actually included in the set. Which is cool. Plenty more boxes here. Love this deco. So cute. And then look at that bottom washi. So graphic. And then she has little marks here on the side where you can line it up and cut it in half for the 15mm strip, which is really cool. And then you get like the extra full box here. Love that. So that is Summer Moon and everything I got from Sticky Essentials. Thank you so much, Delilah, for the extra draw scripts. Now I've got a whole bunch of scribble prints co here that I'm going to do my usual um, organizing. So we're going to do freebies, foil, extras, kits. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to go through the 60th anniversary bundle first and then we'll go through the rest. So I picked up the 60th anniversary bundle, which I did the art for. We actually originally planned this art to be for a September mystery last year, I think. I think it was September, um, but we, Andrew's like, this is too good to be a mystery kit. Like, we put the best art in mystery kit, but this would be perfect for the anniversary. So we switched that around. Um, so we get a full kit here, a bunch of extras, and then some planner friends included, some stuff. Ooh, so exciting, we have some rose colored date. Okay. She does have an unboxing on her um, YouTube, so I would go check that to see everything in detail because I'm just going to be going like, oh my god, this whole time. So first here, the big main item is the Aura Estelle pouch. Let me take, oh, this is so satisfying to take the plastic off. Good here, I want to peel you. Oh, peel, so good. <laughs> So you have the Scribble Prince Co. Bow and Gold. Look how shiny it is in this lighting. I got a new light, so um, I still have one. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I still have one softbox, but I have a new light. It just makes everything so bright, shiny. And this is like the pearl um, or silk cloud material. It's a gold pearl inside. And you also have like a little card slot. Oh, so cute. So this could be a clutch bag. It could be put in your or still or any other planner with strings. So pretty. So that was the first item in the um, box. Then you also got a washi from Scribble Prints oh, from Simply Gilded. So the whole thing has sort of like a mixed metal silver and gold theme. And I believe that's actually one of my patterns is on this washi which is crazy. Like, my art is on a Simply Gilded washi. I'm internally screaming right now. <laughs> Let me open it. 
I just got really tired just all of a sudden, guys. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna open this up because I gotta see my art on a simply gilded washi tape. Like, excuse me? Baking powder? How's this real life? Oh my god, look at it. It's so gorgeous. This one has like the sprinkly sparkles and just, oh. It's me there. I'm simply gilded, you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just doing a Wayne's World in my head like, I'm not worthy. I love it. Prize possession. <laughs> Sorry. That is the Simply Gilded. And we also got an overlay tape from a Rose Colored Days. Uh, I do have some from the first. Let me just open this with scissors. Scissors! Um, so this actually has a number of designs in there. Is it four or is it six? I can't remember. I watched her unboxing a while ago. And these are all silver and gold and some of them are mixed. Which is neat. I always have issues with overlay tape so so we'll see. So the first one's always a gimme. Right, I'm gonna get my sticker book out so I don't waste any of these. Can't waste them. Alright, we're gonna page here for you guys. Running out of filming time, so I restarted. Okay, so this one we have really cool um, double box, one gold, one silver. This one, oh, I'm upside down. It's easy to pull from this way. This one's a simple gold blind box with a little silver heart, gem heart, which again I drew, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm also in rose colored days. Uh, and then we have like a cute little glimmery confetti sprinkle with silver and gold. And then another one that I drew with the little gems, gem outlines, little hot silver pear shaped gems. Then we have little side ones. So I think these are both, so they're on different sort of sides there. Look at that. So yes, yeah, so you do get two, four, six different ones on this tape, which are just for this anniversary box. I think she may have taken it down already, but I know she was going to sell the extras eventually. But yeah, I'm also on Rose Colored Days tapes, you guys. Um, I'm going nuts. Going nuts here. So it's really nice. Oh, really high quality as well. Like none of those tall, which is really good. So I'm terrible at tearing those. <laughs> And then I got all these extras here from uh, sticker extras. So let's go into these. We got a ton of stuff in this anniversary box. Tons. Tons, tons, tons. Alright, that's a bit more extra. These are some of the extras that go with the kit. Alright, so let's go through this little pile first. We have this sticker sheet from One Ton Million. You got a little Andre here, Planet Peace, because that is the whole theme of the art. It's about Planet Peace, Planet Heaven. Andre, take all my money. Yep. <laughs> um, we got Screw Prince, go plan with me watching. Uh, I watch them every week. Uh, like, as soon as they come up, I love them. Sticker sheets, so cute. Love One Ton in a Million. We also have some Once More with Love Little Angels. Which many uses for these, so I love those. Adorable. You have the little post it note. I should send that off to my mom because my mom loves school prints, co post it notes. She wants me to send some, so I need to pick up some more, like find some more around the house because she loves these, so she'll use that. Um, she's a post it note kind of to do lister. <laughs> we have a journaling card with the rounded corners of the fashion girls that I did. I'm really happy with these fashion girls, even still, even though I drew it so long ago. Um, but I'm still really happy with these adorable, adorable. So you got like a little angel wings, but in a shape of a bow. 
A little girl draw like a girl lying in a pile of stickers, school print school foil and things. Cause foil is life. And we have some um this is a die cut sticker, is it? Is it? Yes it is. Oh well, this would be really good to fill in gaps in your laptop if you're filling those with stickers. A little crystal pen. We have some little um these are transparent foil vinyl stickers updating the cloud in gold and silver. Um, we got the little munchkin freebie that goes with the kit. You have a um, cloud vinyl, really pretty white one. And you have a vinyl here of the, so they request, she requested a, um, a vending machine for stickers. And I was like, oh, trying to make a vending machine cute, but like the benefit vending machines are adorable. So I played on that. Cause I thought it was really cute, like it's like driven up, SBC is like driven up and you can get all the stickers. So your foil, multicolor, ultimate kits which have like little glittery full boxes and mini kits which have little glittery full boxes too. Yeah, so I was really really happy with that and they're free by the way. <laughs> That's probably dotted around plan I have been. And then we have this um, square vinyl here as well, I love these vinyls, beautiful. Uh, it says plan a piece this way, little neon sign up the stairs to plan a piece. Yes, so I drew all that. <laughs> um, and then we have some gorgeous foil, and these are all mixed metal foils. We've got some bows with like gold on the inside, you get some overlays for uh, flags, you got two little sheets of these, again the gems that I put together. I was really proud of these, it took a while. <laughs> I love the gem design though. So you gold and silver of those. These are a full week set of bougie boxes and they are silver and gold. Mixed throughout. Um, I believe she's bringing these to shop or something like it. But those are really, really cool. Um, and then you get some um, header overlays, twinkle and um, simple bow. Then you have two of these um, quotes, so you can use whichever ones you want. She leaves a little washi wherever she goes. Life is short by the stickers. Turn your dreams into plans. Put a bow on it. Yes. And then we have some full box overlays. And then we have a matte wheel. So on white matte. You get all those. Well, that's cool. Because the bows are like mixed. That's cool. Um, and then you have the bottom washi. Then you have some scribble prints, coat labels, which I believe will go to the shop in the future, but be useful for organization or anything like that. And then also overlay bows. Oh, so cute. I'm getting like tired from just going through this one bundle. <laughs> this was a good anniversary bundle, you guys. And then we got the whole kit. So this is an older format because again we basically did this last year so <laughs> um, but it's still gorgeous. So first we have like the extra fashion girls, two of the toolbox and then two other skin tone options. Um, then we have the 15 millimeter, the glitter which I think we went through like three, four different like color combinations to get to this one. I was no help. I I saw the good side to all of them. <laughs> so Andre just did her own thing in the end. <laughs> I'm not helpful sometimes. I love this lighter color color combo though. It's just really pretty. And then you have like the bright pink. But yeah, these other full boxes. I haven't seen this in person yet. Oh, oh, it's even more beautiful in person. Like I feel like it films on a lot of people's like really like the pop the pink looks really kind of dark and rich but in person it really pops it's bright pink and these are all pretty light fluttery blues oh, I love it and you have the little bits of the dark blue which I think is what we were struggling about putting in the colorway like if dark blue should be in it but the lighter looks prettier and just oh it looks so pretty 
A little SPC shop front here says all the foil free stickers. Cause I had to put some marble there because you know, <laughs> Andrea loves marble. I love it. Ah, oh, it looks so pretty like uh, imprinted. And we got some marble going throughout, like some glittery, cloudy marble. So this is the old version. All the crystal pens in this one pot. <laughs> we also had this darker purple going as well, but obviously chose the lighter colors. Which I think look really pretty, and all this glitter throughout is gold and silver. We could probably use many different foils with this, like hollow. Another bottom washi. Just beautiful clouds. I don't even know if I want to put a 15mm um, with that. This would be perfect for one of those quotes. Yeah. Love that set. It's so pretty. And then I'm just going to tag on here that I picked up. This was sold separately. It may still be in the shop. Uh, but this is like a deco kit based on that. Um, I think she just wanted to cut down like shipping and price cost. And anyone might want the deco kit. Oh, not everyone would want the deco kit um, with the bundle. So I picked it up because it's going on my cloud. I think it's... I want to put it in my lilac one. So I'll open up and show you the pieces. So first of all, we have a bunch of um, we have a bunch of die cuts from that from the clip art, so bows, gems, foil, the little pencil pouch, confetti, um, little unicorn bust, washi, that little um, thing, stack of planners, and then this one is called the planner piece, but it's like the size for the little window slot in the Aura Estelle, so it's like a business card. That's really cute. I just want to keep everything like in the package until I use it. We got two acetates, which is the gem design. So there is a silver one and a gold one. Yeah. But yeah, so it's just the gems, which uh, I put together. I think it came out really cute. I never like designed an acetate before, so I think it came out really cute. <laughs> and then we have the papers, so you get two of each and they're double sided. So this one obviously goes, so we got this purple one, all of it's got like silver and gold um, glitter sp sparkles. You have like the purple clouds on this one. Of the mix of the clouds and marble and the blue clouds on this one and this one you have like uh, I think this is the paper that simply gilded chose like the similar paper um, and then you have the alcohol inks with glitter in the back which is kind of marbly but yeah the alcohol inks and this, they're really fun to do yeah play around with so that is the whole of the six year bundle of Scribble Prince Co stuff. So now I'm going to get into the normal Scribble Prince Co things. So I'm going to have a slight break because I'm going delirious. Alright, we'll go through the freebies first. These I got these journaling cards. Um, this one's just from like Valentine's Day stuff from last year, I think. And this one's really cute. Um, Oh, is this a newer one, I think? I don't know. But it's like a paint stroke one with the silver bow. And I like how it's sort of um, lightened with a bit of white in the bow. That looks really cute. So these are the journaling cards I got. Um, one of them was a repeat. So I'm just showing you the ones that were different. <laughs> and then I got some freebie foil. So I have two of the PR codes here, but just... Yes, I have two of the PR code ones here, but they are discontinued, but those are those freebies. Um, the current normal freebie are these adorable little Andrea munchkins. I've got the different foils here. Um, and then the 75 plus freebie are these um, scripts, which is always useful to have. I just include them, put them into my script um, sticker album. 
Speaking of scripts, I got a bunch of new ones here. So I got a vacuum, which you can see in the silver the best. But I, got, I get the new scripts all in all four. So your vacuum, um, then cuddle time. Just thought these would be cute with my cat and my partner. I got a call because, you know, doing calls these days, definitely. Which reminds me, I need to call both my parents. Um, and then email, which I do a lot of email at the moment with my supervisors and other things and editors and whatnot. So email, great little scripts there. I also picked up one of each of the new matte labels with foil. So these are buttery premium matte. Um, and they have foil around them, so and you have two fancy labels, two quarter, two quarter, you have four fancy labels, two quarter boxes, two half boxes. Um, so I got the gold, the silver, the hollow, the rose gold, and the oh look at that sparkly hollow, amazing. See my like my new light really picks up hollow, whereas the studio lights don't. Can you see that? The studio light is this side, but the new light is this side. Well, that's really weird. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's really, really cool. Uh, and I'll probably be buying more as I see fit, but I wanted to try out just this lot first. Then I picked up two wiggles. So I picked up this pink chunky glitter one. Um, it's super duper chunky. It's a bow design. I can't remember the name of it, sorry. You can kind of see here. Um, it does have a hollow to it. But it's not like sunset, it's like a straight up pink with a hollow. You can say I show it to my good light. We have the, the bow design which is being discontinued. I don't think we're seeing too many more of these. Um, so you got bow, you got the food, you got the icons with date numbers. Um, with these wiggles you get six sheets of the headers, half cut headers and full boxes. Then you have these word scripts, which are my favorite. Um, the cutout little icons and the bottom washi overlays. So that's that chunky pink glitter one. And then I picked two of the chunky sequin, I think it was called um, Pixie Hollow. Hollow, sequin, hollow, whatever. <laughs> you can really see it like, oh, look at that. Look at that. See, look, nothing. This, this light gives us nothing. This light gives us all the life. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I had to pick this one up. This is in the chunky glitter format, so you get mixed. Oh my god, it's so... Oh my god, look at it. Look at it in the... Oh my gosh. Uh, I just love the chunky pixie sparkly. I don't know why I keep calling them but pixie. The sparkly type hollows. Those are definitely my favorite. I'm eh on normal hollow. Like look at this. I don't know. Like it's fine. But look at this. <laughs> right? So yeah. Got two of those sequiny ones. Um, super chunky hollow. Alright, so I got a couple of monthly kits because as you saw earlier in the haul, I got those caress press. Inserts, so now I have an Erin Condry style, Erin Con uh, Aaron Condry style monthly again. So I was like, I should do monthly planning again then. So, I don't know if I'm going to film it because I don't watch monthly plan with me's at all. I find them super dull and I don't know why because they're the same as anything else. Uh, in terms of putting stickers down, but I just don't care for it. So, I'll probably just still do it to my, for myself. Functional, or I might put in my Erin Condren. I don't know you guys, but I bought two monthly kits for July and August. So this one's for July um, because Press uh, Zero Prince Queen no longer puts the months up here. You can buy whatever one, whatever sets are up. Kids are up in the shop and make them any month that you want. So uh, I picked this one up for July. I think it came out last year. This is my um, Merbabe art from last year, which I still love, and this way I get to use it again. <laughs> so I bought, I got the checklist um, sidebar rather than the decorative one, so that I can actually do some proper functional stuff in here. But yeah, this is a simple three-page kit. Everything you really need. 
So super simple and looking forward to having some pretty monthly spreads again. Um, and then the second one that I bought was uh, she just released and it was based on the May mystery art. So the Visco Girl stuff, Visco Summer. Yeah, I just really love this. I've already used the kit in my plan, which I'm afraid I did not have a, obviously do not have a plan with me on, um, but it came out really, really pretty. So excited to have this. This is for August. I just thought it would be perfect for August, especially with like the yellow and just the simple boxes there. And once again, I got the checklist. So excited for both of those. Now for the kits, I always get ultimate, um, and I pick up the glitter headers, the label sampler, and the 15 millimeter. And this came with the Munchkin freebie. And this is Tropicola, although it's also Lost in Paradise on in my invoice. So I don't know which one's which. Andrea, decide. <laughs> it says Tropicola here, which I assume is like the drink. I don't know. So, I just thought this one was really, really pretty, and I loved this, like, um, smoothie bowl and the coconut. I thought she did it really, really well. Um, <laughs> that top, it's too funny. Um, yeah, so I thought it was really pretty, and I loved these colors, something different and light. Um, for summer, because everything, most things that I'm using are bright, because all my own art was super bright for summer, <laughs> as you will see. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to put this one in. I really love this TWG art, so picked it up. It's really, really cute. And a bit more minimal. Yeah, I thought that was really pretty. Something a bit different. Uh, another light-ish one uh, was Taco Bell, which for my friend Melissa did this art. Alita, Alita does art, Alita design. So the 15mm, the boxes. Ugh, look at these greens. It makes me really want a margarita now. It makes me think of the margarita and the tacos make me think of Velvet Taco in Austin, which I loved. So that's what it makes me think of. So I've got this one because it's so pretty and makes me really, really hungry. <laughs> this is very much like Austin, which is really cool. I love all these boxes in the leopard print um, cloud down here. Oh, these colors. Oh, they make me want to just eat limes. Eat them straight up. I love it. And then I love this, um, the green version here of the leopard print kind of look. The cheetah print. Oh, it's just so refreshing, you know. And it's not like in your face bright either, it's just refreshing. So looking forward to having that in my planner this summer as well. Gorgeous. Oh, here's the bright, ridiculous stuff that I drew. <laughs> so this is Two Worlds, which is my Tarzan art. So you have like, um... oh yeah, I didn't pick up the 15 millimeter because I like the bottom washy hole as it is. So this is my Tarzan art. I like she put here, you'll be in my heart, which uh, makes me cry every time. I watched it recently when I was doing this kit and I was just like, oh, my heart. Uh, especially near the end um, when the male gorilla, I don't want to like, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it, but I highly recommend. But yeah, the male gorilla at the end is so, so sad. <sighs> but yes, and I got a sexy little Tarzan here who looks very Swedish model, I think. <laughs> um, and then I just love to draw beautiful people, okay? And then we have Jane here, she's got her books. Nerdy Jane, but she's still like super fashionable. But I thought it could also, it doesn't have to be Tarzan. Like they're just pretty people. Um, we could use it to go to the zoo because we do have some animal plushies here. Which who doesn't love getting an animal plushie from the zoo? But it also could be um, at home in summer because you've got your like little pot plants, you're hanging out like uh, inside with your hammock and everything, so gardening, anything like that. So I think it's a pretty versatile kit. Ah, 
I love the little cat here. That was my idea of like the little cheetah. <laughs> um, having the little Bengal cat. Yeah, I tried something a bit different with these colors. I saw a lot of um, like indoor uh, interior design which had like the pink, the yellow, and the, the deep foresty green. So that's why I kind of went for there. And I just really wanted it to be sort of cool and wet feeling. <laughs> Rainforest. So this is why I kind of went with this bottom washi. So pretty with the leaves and the butterflies. I am not a fan of butterflies either, but I kind of like the way that they look in this. I don't know. I don't gravitate, gravitate towards butterfly things, but it, I feel like it works in this set. So that was two worlds. I got two more kits to look at and then we're done, you guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, I haven't filmed in so long. So this is my other summer kit, which is based off my favorite Disney film, Lilo and Stitch. Um, if you know me, I am definitely Lilo. <laughs> As a kid, I grew up being very much like that and also obsessed with Elvis. So it's kind of weird that this came out later in my childhood. Um, so I was like, oh my god, that's me. I also loved Elvis as a kid. So I kind of drew that as that way. You got like the blue Hawaii record. I just wanted to do sort of like, it's Hawaii, but you got the space elements of Lilo and Stitch, galaxy elements. So you can still put galaxy celestial stuff with this if you wanted. It's got the Munchkin freebie. I picked up the Fashion Girls, um, uh, you know, with the surfboards. I really love this little multi glitter headers. You got the um, sound wave and the 15 millimeter. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Of course, we got Scrump, and then I. This is one of my favorite things in the film. His bad level <laughs> is very high, so I had to include that. Um, and you like the little space rocket um, handbag, which I thought kind of led more into like the sci fi elements of the film. And then on this, on the ultimate kit, you got a little stitch, which I did as a little French bulldog. Because, you know, they keep going, oh, he's like a really ugly dog or a koala, which is kind of like what <laughs> French bulldogs kind of look like koalas too. Like, but with the blue hoodie. So I thought that was my, my reference to stitch. And then like the little, um, they make the little sand castle in the film. And then on his, he puts his little leaf on top. So I did that as a reference which I was really happy with. Um, obviously she's Nani, is it? The oldest sister. Yeah, I was just really happy with this. You can use it for Hawaii, you can use it for Disney, you can use it for just general summer. Lilo and Stitch. I just thought you could use it like the Tarzan kit multiple ways. Which is how I've been trying to do my Disney stuff. Not like straight up Disney, but have different uses as well. And then the final kit here is the second Summer Moon kit. Now this is the only thing about my US is that sometimes they don't package very nicely. Like they don't really think about what they're doing sometimes. Like they're just trying to get through the mail. Especially right now. So the cello bag, which was actually open um, in the package the whole time. And it was pressed against the stickers. So we got some glue here. And then it's stuck to the 15 millimeter, which I tried to get some of the, I got most of the glue off. Um, you can see there with undo, but you can really see it there. That's like permanent mark on the 15 millimeter, which kind of sucks. Cause it is a special one. Um, and it did stick to this. So we've got it on here and then you have like this glob of glue there. So that is the downside is not all the packers are keeping that kind of thing in mind. So they just got stuck to the cellar bag for like weeks. <laughs> Which is a bit of a downside but um, I will live. Um, yeah, it is her version of Summer Moon. I think she edited the colors too a bit so you have like very different versions which is kind of cool. So this is a bit more pastel light, a bit more soft. But yeah, I love both of them, so I'm into it. <laughs> I'll use it twice. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. 
Love it. What did, did she do the same? Yeah. So, I'm happy with that, despite the issues with that stuff, but oh well, I'll live. I'll put an overlay over the bottom washi, you won't really be able to tell. But that is everything from Scribble Prints Go. And everything in this haul. My Erin Condren haul will be up next week. But if you like this and you survived through this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. I love to chat with you about stickers. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. But I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, keep it safe. Keep rioting. <laughs> protest there for me because I can't protest right now. Um, but yeah, you go out, but keep safe. Keep safe. Uh, and be responsible. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye!